You know what? I don't have enough glitter. Hello? Why not? Who's gonna stop me? You? I don't think so, honey. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Today we're gonna do an updated eyeshadow palette collection video. I will do as much swatching as is logistically reasonable. Those are mama's eyeshadow palettes. That's who we're gonna acquaint ourselves with. Some of those eyeshadow palettes are magnetic palettes where I keep both my Franken makeup and my single shadows. I'm not gonna show you my Franken makeup because number one, I made an entire video about Franken makeup back in October and also they look bad. All of my Franken makeup eyeshadows look disgusting sting and I don't want to show them to you and I also to be quite frank do not use them nearly as often as I use my Franken lip products. I guess I should do a lip collection at some point. Oh, God. It's just endless isn't it? <laughs> this is the BH Zodiac palette. I've maintained that this is a great palette to purchase for yourself if you don't want to spend a ton of money on makeup but you want to experiment with jewel tones and really great quality matte purple eyeshadows and really amazing baked shimmer shadows. It can consistently performs well. The only issues I've ever had using this palette are the fact that the baked shadows being sort of a little bit more loose, glittery, a little bit more prone to fallout are kind of hard to use on the lower lash line if you tend to put a shimmer there. Otherwise, they look absolutely gorgeous when packed onto a glitter glue on the center of the lid. This shade up here, Pisces is lovely. It's like this rosy champagne, but it's not so light that I feel ashy when I wear it. You see that rose? And then if the light's not directly on it, you see there's a little bit of that brown in there. Oh mama, this all over the lid with a neutral brown in the crease, you're done. Maybe a liner if you wanna go like really sexy. I don't know anything about eyeliner, clearly. Ooh. Get into these purples, mama. Literally don't even acknowledge me, don't perceive me in any way, shape, or form. Hold on a second, come back. Ooh. You see that purple? That's purple, sis. Hello? Oh, the color purple? Yes, I, I am aware of your presence. Ooh, let's get into this these army green moments for Capricorn up here. You don't even goddamn know. You literally have no idea. Get out of my house immediately. It's gorgeous, I love it. I'm pretty sure BH still sells it. Hey Siri, look up BH Cosmetics Zodiac eyeshadow palette. Mm-hmm, $16, mama. She's there. If you're not super comfortable enough with makeup or eyeshadow to lean into a full like matte brights palette. Intermediary palette, hello -y. Leona Cosmetics Paleo palette. I'm about 99% sure they don't make this anymore. You are up Shit's Creek if you wanna buy this. Sorry, but it is quite lovely, isn't it? Actually, you know what? I am lying to you. This shade is a custom one that I made because the purple shade that was in this pan broke completely shattered and I got rid of it because I don't like it that much. It's like a cream that I made with my own ingenuity and creativity. God, I'm so talented. You see that? See that like light pink shimmery minute? Does she ever stop? I hope not. Cleona Cosmetics makes really amazing shimmery eyeshadows. I find these shadows to be really easy to apply on like a primerless eyelid with my fingertip. The formula lends itself to that. See how easy that was? Let's get into a cheek palette for a quick second. This is the Natasha Denona Citrine Diamond and Blush Palette. I didn't buy this for myself because I am literally never in my life going to spend $80 on one makeup item. This was a gift from a subscriber, Wendy. You've got this sort of like electric lemon lime yellow highlighter, a cream blush, a cream highlighter, and all three of those are under a little casing. A really intense powder highlight that really comes across as just glitter. Powder blush and a more standard powder highlighter that is slightly less intense glittery than the diamond powder that was first in that row. I almost never reach for this. Not necessarily because I'm afraid of using it because it's expensive. Like it's mine. I can do whatever I want with it. I tend to not use cheap products that are in palettes. I really have to make a conscious effort to do that. Also, these products don't really lend themselves well to everyday use for me. First of all, I hate this cream blush. It's like a little streaky, a little inconsistent in that pigmentation. I prefer a cream blush with a little bit more liquid slip to it. This is very matte. The Duo Glow, which is the citrine yellow. This is just absurd looking. Like. I'm not gonna put this on my cheekbones. It's got a definite glow to it, but like I'm not going to wear a highlighter yellow highlighter. I will say this though, it looks gorgeous on the eyes. The super glittery diamond powder up here and the glow extreme up here, these are very high impact. See that? See that like wetness? That is like white glitter. So these are things, see that? 
it's like a glow. It's a spotlight glow. This is the highlighter you want to reach for when you actually want to look like Lakitu from Mario Kart is hovering in front of your face with a flashlight. What a fun surprise these next ones were. These are the three original Futurism palettes from Kaleidos. I've talked about these a couple times before because I'm genuinely really impressed with all three of them. These I got in PR. I don't know if I mentioned that. These were given to me for free. First of all, this blue looks like a simple blue, but see when I turn it, you see that purple in there? Oh, this is the palette I used to make one of my favorite makeup looks that I've literally ever posted on the internet. That was just shadows in here. I didn't branch out from it at all. Six is a good amount of eyeshadows to have on a palette. This is the sci-fi green. This is the palette that taught me that I really like army green. First of all, this is a really good black eyeshadow. I really like black eyeshadows. A lot of people are afraid of black eyeshadows. When you tap your brush into a pan of black eyeshadow, you need to be gentle. There's always that excess powder inside the brush. You need to trust that excess powder in there when you're using black eyeshadows. Don't dip your brush back in, okay? Make sure you're spreading it around. Make sure you're blending it good. Black eyeshadow will snatch your soul so quickly. Don't give it the chance. Oh, sis, and these like shimmers. Oh, they're so pretty. I love it. I love that one. And then this, ah, the cyber bronze. Yes, neutrals. Can you see? the dips in these two on the end. That's because for approximately a month and a half, maybe longer, every single morning before work, I would dip into this lighter brown, put it all over my crease, and then go into the darker brown and put it all over my lid. Currently, I am doing that same look with two different brown eyeshadows and a different palette we'll see later because I didn't want to hit pan on these too quickly. You know why I like this palette. You see that, bitch? You see that? I was calling it the bitch. I wasn't calling you a bitch. That's a silver baby. <laughs> That's a what? Oh God. Ooh, silver. And then these two on the end, this red gets used probably the least, uh, which is a little bit of a shame. Oh, she's cherry. She's like, ooh, she's like candy apple. She's like autumnal, but also with like the right amount of black eyeshadow accompanying it. That's like dangerous. Gamer accessory colors. Oh wait, like black eyeshadow in like a wing diffused all over, red over it and like a line of silver on top. I'm a genius. Do you see what this brings out of me? See this? You know what this is? Documented evidence that I don't hate Anastasia. These shimmers are really fun to use because they seem like they're gonna be standard shimmers. And then they all have like a, just like a little bit of a surprise. Yeah, just wipe my whole forearm on my legging. Yep, that's efficiency. That's upcycling. That's the future. That's praxis, okay. <laughs> Did you know that I spent four years at a liberal arts college and I still only kind of know what praxis means? That's commitment to being a dumb bitch. Yacht is a standard bronze. I know I saw all the shimmers have little surprises, but this is fairly generic. Generic doesn't mean ugly though. That's wedding makeup, sis. That's like you put, that's like Pisces from the Zodiac palette. Center of the lid, surrounded by like diffused matte brown, lash, you're done. Put on a brow, leave. Like what are you even still doing in front of the vanity? You're finished. Seychelles, that blue. But she's got like, there's something about her. Like looking at a late shimmer in like midsummer sunlight. Suvian Stevens is there. Like it's just, it's like a memory. Palermo. You know I love an eyeshadow named after somewhere in Italy. Oh, oh, she's deep. She's romantic. Seaside. Oh, you know I love a darkened silver. You know I love a darkened silver. Oh, you know mother loves a darkened silver. But she's not just a darkened silver. Like, look at her. I know you see that purple in there. Inheritance is the shade that made me realize that I like yellow gold. If I was gonna use a yellow, it had to be matte. And this was like, oh no, it doesn't. Inheritance was like, mm-hmm. You're wrong, sis. And usually I hate being wrong, but when I'm being corrected by such a bad bitch, I'm like, okay, sure, yeah, I'll be wrong. Bahamas, Monte Carlo, and Cannes. Ooh, I love pink. I love pink and I love purple. Ooh, I love traditional femininity. Girl, hello. <laughs> Look at how long that went. She's like, oh no, I have pigmentation to spare. Don't worry about it. Riviera, baby. Call me Alanis Morissette because I've just washed my hands clean. 
of this. That is my favorite song with terrifying lyrics. Next up we have the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette, which is something that I coveted for a very long time. And then that same subscriber who sent me the Diamond and Glow Palette sent me this in that same package without telling me she was gonna do that. And I screamed a lot. And now that I've had it for about a year and some change, I'm like, yeah, I think I was right in deciding not to buy this for myself. It's fine. It's like not at all worth the hype that it gets, I don't feel. The shimmers are very pretty because to be quite frank, I don't think it's that difficult to make a very pretty high impact shimmery eyeshadow. These three shimmers, the chunkier ones, are lovely. Gorgeous, 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 beautiful. It's like they should be, you know, for the price. This yellow is absolutely terrible. This is one of the worst matte yellow eyeshadows I've ever used. Let's see, every time I say a matte yellow eyeshadow is bad, it then swatches the most perfect it's ever swatched. So let's see, that remains the case. <laughs> of course. It just like kind of dusts into nothing on my eyes. And it's one of those yellow eyeshadows that just sort of sinks into the base if the base is too tacky, but dusts right off of it if the base is too dry. Like, I don't know. If I didn't know this palette was $129 and I went to someone's house and they had it and I was touching it, I'd be like, oh, how much was this? Like 40 bucks? And they'd say 129 and I would thwap them in the face with a magazine. $129, Natasha? I don't think so. I think a lot of people don't think so. Next up, the September Rose Cosmetics Slush Palette. I feel like the way I talk about it, it comes across that I think every shade in this palette is amazing. Very far from the truth. This is the inside of the slush palette. First of all, all of these pink shades, all of the pink shades are awesome and all of the purple shades are awesome. All of these oranges are pretty disappointing. They will get the job done eventually, but like especially orange soda. When I entirely turn my light up, you see how that's like peachy as hell? That girl, that's not what we want. We want a standard orange. This yellow shade banana is my favorite matte yellow in my collection. Very solid and high performing. I really like it. Let's look at the shade over here, Blue Raspberry. I don't know why matte navy blue eyeshadows are impossible to make. Do you see how this is like gored a little bit? That's because you have to like attack it to get like the pigment from it. And I've used this as the transition for a blue look and it's very possible, but you have to dip back into the pan like six, seven times. Do you see already on my finger how pathetic that swatch is? Do you see how it's like not? A fingertip swatch, like usually you get built up product on there. Not right now. That is barely a whisper of the heart. Like basically my issue with this is that there are a lot of formulaic inconsistencies across the board. Like not all of the shimmery shades are formulated the same as the other ones. Not all of the matte shades are the same. And I know that formulation varies depending on the shade, but like to this extent, it's kind of unpredictable to work with. These two shimmers though are beautiful. They're actually so nice that I would consider buying a full shimmer, but only this formula, like full metallic version of this palette. So I'm glad I bought this and I'm glad I have it because this is the Brights palette that allowed me to get rid of my very old BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette. I don't have that anymore because I decided to put all of my eggs into this basket in terms of brights and rainbows. So I do like it and it is functional. It just can just be kind of frustrating sometimes. This is the Tarte High Tides and Good Vibes palette. Number one, Tarte, you might not know this if you don't buy Tarte's eyeshadows, Tarte loves to put two navy blues in a palette for some reason. Anytime they have a palette that is some way themed around having colors in it, they're like, let's just put two navy blues in it. That's a color, right? Put down your kale smoothies and come listen to my words and hear me as a woman. We need to make a colorful palette, but I don't really know what that means. Well, Barbara, I've got an idea. Yes, Barbara? Well, back in the 80s, I remember my mother wore this awful gaudy blue eyeshadow. Is that a color? It's the color of my private pool at my summer home. This bronze shade? Like, who that boy, who him is. Gorgeous. <laughs> That's work appropriate, mama. That's the office. Work me the break room. Work me the break room. <laughs> That's your inner corner highlight. That's very pretty. If you're very fair skinned, that's your cheek highlighter, but she's lovely. Ooh, this one too, this like coral. This is really pretty and actually shows up really well on my skin. The blues in this palette are fine. Um, They're pretty solid. I don't reach for them as much as I reach for a couple other blues from Tarte that we will see. They're different shades of blue. They just don't both need to be in this palette in any capacity. Dark blue, dark blue, have you ever been alone in a crowded room? I forget that these two are in the palette all the time because they suck. Hello? The glitters are supposed to be like 
the moment of this palette, but I honestly forget about them a lot because glitters scare me. <laughs> that doesn't watch well. But like, I, glitter's frightening and I don't like using it. And it's not like a Tarte thing, it's an any pressed glitter thing. This is the palette that made me want to try harder to use cheap products and palettes. This is the LA Girl Bright Beam Babe. This was in my local CVS pharmacy. These highlighters are it. These are stellar highlighters. These bronzers I don't care about. I've used them for Frank and makeup which is why they are like gutted. I will mix these with each other because this one is too light for my skin. This bronze one is too dark for my skin. Girl, what are you talking about? Oh my God. And then this pink one is good for topping blush. It's like a little bit too much of its own thing. This is a chunky swatch, so it's going to look amazing. Like these are really chunky swatches. Like there's literally flakes of highlighter hanging off of them. So they're not gonna be this intense on your cheekbones if you buy this, if you can, I don't even know, oh my God. Like, what are you saying? And they're not even cream highlighters, but they're like so smooth. This one that I left out, this is the one that I can wear by itself. This like mid-toned one. Oh my God, I love it. This was, I think $14 and it is kind of like annoying that there's two entire pants in it that I don't use because they're bronzers that are too light for me and also I don't wear bronzer. But $14 for four really well-performing highlighters that mix together really well and mix with other highlighters really well, that's a good ass deal. If you can still find this at a CVS or maybe an Ulta, girl, I, I, I give her my seal of approval. These are really nice. What the, what on earth? Like, <laughs> oh, is it time for the twins? Is it time for the twins to come out and play? <laughs> These are the two It's My Ray Ray and BH Cosmetics collaboration palettes. I wish they had names other than that because writing these in captions is annoying. This is the original palette. It originally had a cheek palette attached to it, but I cut it off with an X-Acto blade and then filed the jagged edge down with a nail file and put some nail polish on it. Cause like I said, disrespect the hell out of your makeup. If something's not working for you, chop it off, depot it, crush it up, do whatever you want with it, it's yours. This was the neutral palette in my collection for a while. This one, you can see those divots, you know she's been loved. This one, I th you think you're ready for it. You're really not. It's okay though, we're in it together. Girl, look at this like Bordeaux. That is sexy. If I put this all over my lid and like had a lash on with like the right candlelit lighting, if I was looking at myself in the mirror, I would take a full bite out of my mirror. Girl, God damn it. This is the shade that I want Dofa from the Smoky Glow and Midas Cosmetics palette to look like, by the way. Hannah, if it doesn't look like this, I'm gonna burn your palette. <laughs> no, <laughs> oh my God, no, I would never. That's my friend. This is the sequel palette to that first palette. I will say this first, the formula of this palette compared to that one is inferior in every way, shape, and form. I am furious with BH Cosmetics that they didn't use the same formula for the matte and shimmer shades, and I will never get over it. However, it's pretty solid. I don't use it that often because I'm an idiot, but like, it's cute. The shimmers are like, sort of like your average satiny, not super high impact. Like they are cute, but they're not gonna like really turn the party. They're not really like, they're fine. God, I'm so disappointed. <laughs> you saw how luxurious this was. See if this like melds with my skin like it belongs there. These shimmers aren't doing that. I don't want my eyeshadow to work. I want it to upset me with how good I look. I feel like people think I'm like, playing a character. I'm just this annoying all the time. <laughs> this shade Canary is all right, this yellow. It's like a fine yellow, I don't like do it. It's not as bad as the Natasha Denona one. It's not as good as the September Rose one. This is the other palette though that I pull out every single day because of these two shades. I mean, can, we, can we hit this angle where you can like really see it? Do you see how there's like a crater in both of those where I've been like scooping my brush in every single day. Dead ass, like including this very morning because these are the perfect shades of dark brown that I like to put all over my lid for the office. That's my work makeup, crease, lid. I hate that I'm like upholding that whole like the younger sister is compared to the older sister. But like, this is Jessica Simpson, this is Ashley Simpson. And if you know, you know. God, I'm so sad. Like, I'm still annoyed about that. When Tarte initially sent me the same PR package that included the High Tides and Good Vibes palette, they also included the very controversial, much maligned, much mocked Icy Betch palette. Guess what? 
This is my favorite Tarte palette. This is the one I reach for every single time I wanna put on blue eyeshadow. This is where I start. So look at how much blue shadow is on the highlighter. This has a fingerprint in it, you see that? Like that's dipped in. I use it a lot. <laughs> Girl, what on earth? What is in the water in whatever vat you make blue eyeshadow in? That's stellar. That's like kind of like a steel. That's like a little bit more of like a muted blue. Like I love her. Ooh, one of these is like a good indigo. Yeah, you see that indigo? This one, that little bit of purple in there? This is a nighttime look, girl. If you use like a black cream base underneath one of these like navy blues, well, you know, they're not both navy, but you know what I mean, darker blue. That's your night look. Like, I'm sorry, but it's true. This one right here, I do like as well, this matte. It's a pretty unique shade of blue for my collection, like honestly. This like sort of L of product here, it is an L. I don't use those that often. And the highlighter is like very pretty. It's lighter than I want it to be, but do you see how it's not like stark white? Like there's a little bit of like a rosiness to it. It's peachy, you know? It's like a little bit of a peach moment. This is kind of it. Like I really like this palette. I get that no one wants to believe me, which is fine. You're perfectly entitled to not buy from Tarte, not like Tarte, make fun of Tarte. It's a multi-million dollar corporation. I'd be disappointed if you weren't making fun of it. I love making fun of corporations too. That's half the reason I'm in business school. <laughs> so I can learn the best ways to make fun of corporations. <laughs> Why are we talking about Icy Betch? Because recently Tarte put out a sister palette to this called the Spicy Betch palette. And if you're wondering why I'm not putting up a picture of it so you know what it looks like, well, <laughs> I bought it. Maybe I'm a dumbass. It's not like an issue, but like if you're gonna call something a sister palette, I feel like it should be the same size. You know what I'm talking about? I like that they switched to cardboard packaging for this one as opposed to plastic packaging. This is what the spicy bitch looks like. A uh, couple things about this. This yellow makes me really angry because it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> so I brought you up close to my eyes because the only eyeshadow I have on is from the Spicy Betch. Every single color you see in my eyes, excluding the black eyeliner I'm wearing, is from this palette. So let's go through it. On my lower lash line, we have this sort of pink shade on fire, which is pretty solid. I like it a lot. I'll swatch it as well. Over here in what is largely covered by my wing is this orange shade, Extra Hot, which is okay but it's also not great. This shade right here, this blood orange color, that's not red. Okay, it's blood orange. That is the shade Caliente. Girl, what on earth? Absolutely no explanation for these two colors being as ridiculously perfect as they are, but they are. On a little bit of my inner corner, you can see that gold shade sizzling. It's a metallic gold. It's incredibly hard to mess up a gold. Uh, especially if you're tart, and they didn't. It's fine. The yellow shade fierce is really terrible. Okay, that was like swirling my finger in the pan for like a couple of seconds. That looks bad. It looks bad, and I'm gonna sue them. Girl. You know what? Just so nobody thinks that it looks like that because I'm swatching it over like a thousand other swatches, let me swatch it on some clean skin. Matter of fact, let me swatch it on the palm of my hand. Do I need to keep talking? It's what's on my brow bone. And let's just say there's a reason that I put glitter gel on it. Cause it looks bad. Like it's patchy and I don't like it. I'm pressing charges. By the way, the glitter gel that I'm using is also from Tarte. This is from the Pride collection. So this is great. I like this a lot. Do I recommend you buy this? No, but you probably weren't going to anyway. <laughs> Why don't I pause to tell you what my eyeliner is? Cause I know you're curious. So the primary wing, which is this one that goes up here, was done, this is a mascara. I grabbed the entire wrong product, love that for me. Was done with this. <laughs> Hello, Laurie. This is the Essence Super Last Eyeliner. This is a type of eyeliner that I really like, where it's got a well of product and then a felt tip, but like a really floppy felt tip that lets you get like really bold lines. And then the more delicate wing on top was done with this pen eyeliner. This is the UZ Eye Opening Liquid Eyeliner Pen in black. It's a brush tip eyeliner pen. If you've watched my video on eyeliners from quite a while ago, you know that brush tip pens are my favorite, but they're very hard to find good ones. This is a good one. This is a great eyeliner. I give it my full seal of approval, 16 bucks. Slightly better than Glossier's. They're both good, but this is a little bit better and doesn't skip 
as much as my eyeliner. So this is something that was sent to me in PR. This is from Midas Cosmetics, which is the same brand that my friend Hannah is collaborating with to make the smoky Eagle Bat. This is the Honeycomb palette by Midas, which is a collaboration with Jennifer Lacanis. This is cute, but there are parts of this I like more than other parts. We know what the question of the hour is, is this yellow any good? It's very soft. It's much more softly pressed than some of the other yellows we've seen. And so it's pretty nice. I use a white base with all of my yellows. I don't think I've ever successfully used a yellow eyeshadow with no primer. This is pretty good as far as yellow eyeshadows go. That's purple. Get into her. This is Iris. Are you with me? Rose and Poppy over here. Rose and Poppy. Rose especially, like I love using it. It makes me feel really goth because it's so dark red. Oh, these are honey, royal jelly, and nectar. I was just about to try to swatch this on my other arm. Like, yeah, good luck with that, sis. <laughs> there we go. Like they are like reasonably pretty. You know, they're good and they look nice on like a glitter glue, which is how I use most sparkly eyeshadows anyway. So good. We have a little baby. <laughs> I love this one. This is my only ColourPop palette. Ooh, this is the Smoke Show palette that has since been renamed to the Blow and Smoke palette. So this is, this is contraband at this point. Ooh, this is copyright infringement. <laughs> I'm gonna put this on Depop and sell it for a thousand dollars. Love opening this. God, it makes me feel like Morticia Adams just looking at it. Oh, I love it. You know why I love it? Guess why I love it. Guess why I like this palette. I did a look with this palette in a video back in October, I think, when it launched. So if you're curious how I've used that, I would check out that video. You might think you don't need a monochromatic black, white, gray, and silver eyeshadow palette. And you don't but it's fun to have in the house. If you have a black, a white, and a silver eyeshadow, you don't need this palette, but it's fun. We're gonna return to Tarte for the last time. These are two Tarte palettes that I've taped together. <laughs> These were both received in PR from Tarte at the same time that I got the Icy Betch and the High Tides and Good Vibes. On this side, we have the Remix Natural palette. This is a little mini version of the Tartist Pro Remix palette. This has some bangers in it. This like maroon, this gold, see this like icy blue. Girl, let's get into this pink. Girl, I'm sorry. Like I'm so sorry. Her? That one? Yeah. Next up, this is the Tarte Let It Rainbow palette. This is a June Pride Month collaboration with Jesse Page, the YouTuber. This is a rainbow palette, except for the fact that there's no green. You know green was too much, too vibrant for the Tarte Barbas. They were like, we'll give you blue. Blue we've seen, but green eyeshadow? Have you ever seen anything so ridiculous as someone wearing green eyeshadow? What are they? The Statue of Liberty? <laughs> Some of the ones on this side also kind of hit. This blue shade, Hustle. Here, this like pink moment. This orange, this like aqua blue. Yeah, dude. That orange is better than the oranges on the spicy bench. What is up with that? I taped these together because they look really nice together. Those are all of my eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> Miss Borley? Yes, hi. Can we pause on the squeak for a couple minutes? Yes, we're gonna go on a walk. Oh, you are? Yes, on a birthday walk. <gasps> What's gonna happen on a birthday walk? We're just gonna walk and it's gonna be her birthday. Are you gonna get her a ham and cheesecake? I'm making it when I get back. Oh! She's gonna be baking a goat cheese today. Oh, she's gonna get upscale one. Yeah. Oh, she's a madam of society. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Borley. Miss Bor Borley, you're so chubby. Miss Borley, is it your birthday? Are you a hundred years old? <laughs> Are you a thousand? Mother, I'm one thousand years old. Are you the biggest girl in the land? Yes. Are you very soft? Yes. Is your foot crushing my breasts? Yes. That's poorly, I paid so much money for them. Asserting power, my other. No! Well, I didn't. My insurance provider paid so much <laughs> money for them. She is perched. <laughs> she is perched. <laughs> Perchetted. Thank you for yawning at me. It really helped develop the experience. <laughs> Now I truly understand that you are tired. Thank you so much for watching my video, but before you leave, I'm gonna need you to do a quick favor for me. If you could go ahead and have an amazing day for me, that would be very pigmented. <laughs> if you would like to interact with me betwixt uploads, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok 
at Nisi Pisa. I also have a second channel called Extra Nisi Pisa that I will link in the description where I post music and covers. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to use code Nisi Pisa for 10% off at checkout at your local silver eyeshadow store. Goodbye. You can't fight in here. This is the lip gloss room. <laughs>